high students in this class we have do some important problems in differences let us discuss some important problems first question is o is equal to log log x to the base seven to the base seven in calculus natural logarithms are used that means the base of the logarithm is e in calculus we use the logarithm whose base is e log x divide dx of log x means divide dx of log x to the base e that is logarithm of x to the base e is the derivative is 1 by x suppose d by dx of log x to the base e base is other than e so we have to apply base changing rule that is d by dx of log x to the base e by log e a to the base e here we introduce one base that is e and uh, it can be written as d by dx of log x divided by log e here base e is understood and 1 by log e is a constant so let me take 1 by log e d by dx of log x that is 1 by log e into derivative log x is 1 by x so the answer is 1 by x into log e this is the answer see the difference between d by dx of log x to the base e and d by dx of log x to the base e both are different Using this result, we are going to find the derivative of the function y is equal to log log x to the base. Seven. Here base of the logarithm is seven, but here base of the logarithm is e. If the base is not given in calculus, base e is we take the base as e, isn't it? So here we can reference using this rule. log log x to the base e log 7 to the base e now again log log x divided by log 7 base e is understood now find the y by dx the y by dx that log 7 is a constant so 1 by log 7 into d by dx of log of log x log of log x log of log x is function of a function form so 1 by log 7 is a constant up outer function and inner function here log log x is 1 by log x and log x is 1 by x so the answer is 1 divided by log 7 into x log x x into log x this is the answer is it next question is we is equal to sin cos 2 raised to x plus 1 by 1 plus 4 raised to x. It can be written as sine cos 2 raised to x into 2 by 1 plus 2 square the whole raised to x. Here we are using two expansion rules. X raised to m plus uh, m. 
expense fee ang minimum expense fee yan. And uh, another is, one more road is, expense fee yan the authorized entry yan is equal to expense fee yan the authorized entry yan. The second road. So, it can recognize using this road to into to raise the expense one plus x raised to n or raised to n x raised to n or raised to n that is 2 raised to x to n of course now put in 2 raised to n is equal to and it 2 raised to n is equal to and it is so sign goes to and it term 1 plus tan theta rahus kala tan theta rahus kala is tan square bit 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is sin 2 theta sin equals sin 2 theta so here it belongs to theta it is 2 into theta is tan equals 2 raised to x tan equals 2 raised to x is equal to that is 2 into tan inverse 2 raised to x, isn't it? Now find dy by dx. Now dy by dx is equal to 2 is a constant of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square 2 raised to x the whole square into. Now find the derivative of 2 raised to x, dy by dx of 2 raised to x. That is 2. 2 into 1 is 2 by 1 plus here I am writing this whole again 2 square the whole raised to x 2 square the whole raised to x into the derivative of 2 raised to x is 2 raised to x and into that is 2 raised to To raise to x into log 2. Now we can compare these two. x raised to m into x raised to x raised to m plus n. So to raise it to x into 2, 2 raised into x plus 1 divided by 1 plus 4 raised to x into log 2. 2 raised to x plus 1 into log 2 divided by 1 plus 4 raised to this is an important question. Next question is differentiate sin square x with the respect to e raised to x. We have to find the derivative of sin square x with respect to e raised to x. That is d by dx of d by d e raised to x of the rate with respect to x is e raised to x sin square x. It can be perhaps d by dx of sin square x divided by d by dx of e raised to x. We introduce some dx on both numerator and denominator. The derivative of sin square x with respect to x is 2 sin x into the derivative of sin x is cos x, function of a function. E raised to x is e raised to x. So the answer is sin to x by e raised to x. This is the answer. Another example is the derivative of sin inverse to x by 1 plus x with respect to tan inverse x. d by d tan inverse x of sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x by that is d by dx of sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x by divided by d by dx of tan inverse x in the numerator we put x 
सेल टू टैन बी है ना सो टू टैन बी क्या बाय वन प्लस टैन स्क्वायर बी क्या इस इक्वल टू साइन टू बी तो क्या बी बाय बी एक्स ऑफ साइन होस टू टैन बी क्या बाय By one plus tan square beta whole divided by d by dx of tan inverse x, isn't it? Two tan beta by one plus tan square beta is sine two beta d by d dx of sine inverse sine two theta divided by d by dx of tan beta tan inverse x. Now sine inverse sine get cancelled. <coughs> That is equal to d by dx of two into theta. Theta is minus tan inverse x. Theta is tan inverse x. Therefore, two into tan inverse x. Divided by d by dx of tan inverse x. Here in the numerator we can take on two outside d by dx of tan inverse x. Divided by d by dx of tan inverse x. Here d by dx of tan inverse x get cancelled. Now we get the derivative function. Derivative of sine inverse x square plus x square with respect to tan inverse x is two. Uh, not need to find the derivative of these two functions. Both are same, so we can eliminate the functions. Is it? Next question is if cos y is equal to x cos y plus y, prove that d y by d x is equal to cos square a plus y by sin a. Here x cos a plus y is equal to cos y. Therefore, x is equal to cos y by cos a plus y. This is u and this is v. Now we can apply quotient rule. Differentiating x with respect to y. Differentiating x with respect to y. So dx by dy is equal to. Denominator will be cos a plus y into d by dy of cos y. Numerator minus cos y into d by dy of Denominator is cos a plus y. Whole divided by denominator square that is cos square a plus y. Cos a plus y the whole square. Now cos a plus y into the derivative of cos y with respect to y is minus sine y. Minus cos y into Function of a function cos a plus y minus sine a plus y into the derivative of a is zero plus the derivative of y with respect to y not x the derivative of y with respect to a is one that divided by denominator square that is cos square a plus y here minus sine minus sine comes plus I am rearranging this function sine a plus y in the cos y. Sine a plus y in the cos y minus cos a plus y in the sine divided by cos square a plus y. Now it is in the standard form sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. What about sine a cos b minus cos a sine b? Sine a minus b. 
that is sin a minus b a is a plus one minus b is one that divided by cos square a plus one here plus y and minus y get cancelled this is dx by dy now we have to find that for dy by dx so I see we are taking the same problems here cos square a plus y by sin a hence uh, we can prove this yes again in similar way you can prove another question if sin y is equal to x plus sin a plus y then prove that dy by dx sub is equal to sin square a plus y by sin practice this question like this ok another question is if x in the root of 1 plus y plus y in the root of 1 plus x is equal to 0 so that dy by dx sub is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square here x sub in the root of 1 plus y plus y in the root of 1 plus x is equal to 0 so x in the root 1 plus y is equal to minus y in the root of 1 plus x this term goes to our address now square in both sides x square into 1 plus y minus becomes plus y square into 1 plus x now removing the bracket x square plus x square y is equal to y square plus x y square isn't it now x square minus y square is equal to x y square minus x square y y square comes to the left and this goes to the right now here it is x plus y into x minus y and here you can take an x y outside into y minus x now y minus x is minus of x minus y and now we can eliminate from x minus y from here and here now x plus y is equal to minus of x minus x plus y minus x y and uh, this x my x y comes to a us and uh, x goes to uh, so y plus x y is equal to here it becomes minus x so we into 1 plus x is equal to minus x therefore we can find y minus x y 1 plus x now it is in the form in y b so dy by dx is equal to denominator 1 plus x into derivative of numerator minus 1 minus numerator into derivative of denominator 0 plus 1 by denominator square not only plus uh, x the whole square not only plus x but only plus x the whole square isn't it now removing the back minus 1 minus x minus into minus plus x into 1 plus x that divided by 1 plus x the whole square minus x and plus x plus x are get cancelled now minus 1 by 1 plus x the whole square this is x isn't it here the question is like this we have to arrange the question and find y then find the derivatives next question is y is equal to root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x plus etc to infinity 
product dy by dx is equal to cos x by 2y minus 1 here let we see for this now I am writing this as root of sin x plus again root of sin x plus root of sin x plus again root of sin x I am writing one more root sin x to x apply to infinite and uh, this function root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x plus x apply to infinity is what isn't it now we can directly return as sin x plus y now squaring both sides we square is equal to sin x plus y now differentiating with respect to this differentiating with respect to x we have 2y in the dy by dx two y into dy by dx sin x is cos x we use dy by dx isn't it now two y dy by dx minus dy by dx is equal to cos x now take dy by dx as common factor dy by dx are into 2y minus 1 is equal to cos x or dy by dx is equal to cos x by 2y minus 1 like we can prove the function we is equal to root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x plus x etc to infinity isn't it but then we can understand all the problems I have so here, take some questions of similar types from textbook or somewhere or some graduate yourself.